כי יום אחד תתעוררי ותביני שהיית שנתיים בצבא ולא תרמת כלום. לא טבעת חותם. אז הנה, ההזדמנות שלך לתת תרומה קטנה לצה"ל. מצוין. בא לי ללמוד. רוצה שאני אסחוב לך את התיק? זה לא יעזור. כבד לי בנשמה. מה זה אומר עוברת לקריה? שלחת מכתבים. למי? לקב"ן, לאגף תשרשי, להיות חיילים במטכ"ל, להעמד גם לרמטכ"ל. מה? נכון, זוהר, בסוף שלחנו לו. לרמטכ"ל? כן. כן, נראה לי שכן. צור שאני יורה. רציניים פה באבטחה, אה? אתם יודעות איך קוראים לשלישות בבסיס הזה? שלישוק. audience here. I mean, that was great. This is just a quick clip from the independent film Zero Motivation being featured at this year's Denver Jewish Film Festival. With me are Steve Wilson, executive, uh, executive artistic director of the Meitzel Arts and Cultural Center, as well as Julie Schwartz, co-chair of the film festival. Welcome to you both. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks. I can't here. wait to see that film. Well, we can't wait to see the whole festival. <laughs> <laughs> no, no kidding. Well, Steve, how did the Jewish Film Festival come? Well, we started in 1996 with 11 films, and this year will feature 28 films. Oh We've grown 317% since 2006, about 1,600 people until last year we saw over 7,000. Wow. Great success. No kidding. So as the artistic director, why is it important for you to, to bring the festival to the Meitzel Arts and Cultural Center? Well, you know, film is a great media that generates both dialogue and discussion. So the great thing about coming to the festival is the fact that you can see the films live with other people. So every Every single possible subject you can imagine. We've got terrorism, we've got drama, we've got comedy, we've got documentaries. Uh, it's a great festival this year. We're really excited. You need to get a little bit more excited, <laughs> honestly. I mean, this is very cool, Steve. So um, tell me about, you know, what the films are your favorites this year. You, you've got some favorites, I'm sure. Well, we have... Oh, yeah, Julie, uh, I'm sorry. Opening night, we have a wonderful French film. It happened in Saint-Tropez, along with five other fantastic French films, and I'm a bit of a Francophile, and the Alliance Francaise is on board with us this year in kind sponsoring films, so we hope to see a lot of their members. And Thursday night, we have uh, Nancy Spielberg. She's Steven Spielberg's sister. She wow. executive produced Above and Beyond, which is a film about the birth of the Israeli Air Force. And it's not necessarily just to appeal to people who are interested in the history of how Israel came about. People who love planes, people who are interested in war history, will love the film and they'll get to hear Nancy speak about it. And afterwards. the American connection, because I didn't realize that there were several American pilots who were instrumental in seeding the Israeli Air Force, a really timely documentary. Wow. Well, when, as you watch the trailers, there's a really strong international representation. Mm -hmm. So why is that important to bring that to American audiences? Well, obviously, as we look around today, we are connected via this fabulous internet, but we don't get a chance to talk to each other and discuss all of these issues that are so important to both uh, the Jewish community, but also the Colorado community, our whole right. community. Denver has a very discriminating film community, both filmmakers, film lovers. We have amazing festivals in Denver and the Denver area. And as a part of that film community, we're obligated to show the best global films with Jewish content by Jewish filmmakers, of course. But these are films that will appeal to anyone who has an interest in quality film. And we've got a Filipino film coming with a Filipino director. We're looking here at a film called The Last Mensch, mm -hmm. which is an amazing um, film. It's German and Polish about a man who's, in a sense, looking for his identity. He has to prove that he's a Jew, even though he has the numbers tattooed on his arm. But this will appeal to people who are interested yeah. in good film. He was a concentration camp survivor, but he can't prove that he's Jewish because all the records have been lost. Okay. And so near the end of his life, he wants desperately to be buried Jewish. A really fantastic film. Well, and I want to get to this next clip about sure. a film that a lot of people, I think, it could hit close to home to, right? Yep. So to, uh, let's see this. There's something maybe genetic that makes you feel good when you're down there. 
just feels so like the kind of Jewish that I know. He was Russ and daughters. The story of the Russ family begins like so many Jewish immigrant stories. When poverty and pogroms drove them from the shuttles of Eastern Europe. Shuttle. Shuttles, that's what no. it's Shtetl. Shtetls, yeah, so, Shtetls. Shtetls, right. so do I have to do it again? I must have been about 11, 12, trying to help out behind the counter. It was not easy. Summer, no air conditioning. It was tough. Really, we wore No air layers. conditioning? How about no heat? Eight cents a quarter for lots. And the salmons were three for 50. Herrings, I remember three for 10. Oh, God. And one lady says, oh, you are gorgeous girls. Who's not married? And they pointed to me. And she says, I got a boy for you. <laughs> Pop used to throw people out. If they said anything that he didn't like. Who asked you to Very come here? Forget the address. I could watch them all day, Absolutely. right? You know, just hysterical. For sure. Julie, what do you think makes this uh, festival so unique this Well, year? it's a Jewish film festival, so people love to talk, have conversations after the films. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that we offer uh, quite a few of this year are talkbacks after the films. So, Steve, you could address that real quickly. Facilitated discussions in many cases with our Shaliach, who is our Israeli emissary, Yoni Alon, who's fantastic, um, to galvanize the themes of the film and really get some in-depth discussion. That'll happen, you know, individually when you go out to dinner afterwards, but this is a real great way of connecting the themes of the films, many of which are very timely. We've got uh, God Slave this year, which is about a terrorist. It kind of goes does his journey. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, 24 Days, a great timely French film, lots of other fantastic films. Outstanding. Well, it was just so fun to see those. I'm, I'm dying to see the whole festival. Please. You guys are wonderful. I love your energy. Well, the Denver Jewish Film Festival takes place February 4th. Don't miss it. It's through the 15th at the Meitzel Arts and Cultural Center. For tickets, information, and screening times, go online to maccjcc.com. Org. You can also place a call to 303-316-6360.